you guys know when you have a weapon of danger mode? Um, just somebody that's prolific. Um, obviously, you guys seen him for years, but he's just a guy that. No matter where he's on the court, uh, he demands respect. So, you know, with a player like that, it just not only does he just get cooking, but it opens stuff up for everybody. What are you guys saying to each other when you're watching him from the bench here? Doing this? Uh, we just, I mean, we kind of be in disbelief, but, you know, at this point, you know, that's my fourth time seeing him score 60. So it's kind of, I don't want to say it's normal, but it's just kind of like, <clears throat> You know, when you see the the way he prepares and you know the type of type of person he is, I wouldn't say you necessarily expect sixty every night, but you know he he deserves those kind of games. You get what I'm saying? Like you, it's warranted, you know, for the type of work he puts in. So um, it's just you just kind of sit back and just enjoy it and marvel at his greatness. Is it more impressive that he's done this after a year of sitting out pretty much? You know, went through surgery and all that. Nah, I mean I I feel like um, Dame is Dame. You know what I'm saying? I think. It's just something that he's capable of doing. And when he does it, it's kind of one of those things where you just sit back and enjoy it for what it is. What does that do for your guys' belief moving forward and what you can accomplish this season? What does what do? Having him score 60, having that ability to score 60. I mean, it's just, you know, at any moment, you know, he can win you a game. You know what I'm saying? I think I think today was a, was a good team, was a good team win. But when you have a guy that can just, you know, control a game like that, you're never out of one. You get what I'm saying? I think that's something that's really important to have. I'm sure you know in the third quarter he's hot, but did you have any idea 20 straight points this season? I did not have I, did, I was just I, I was just watching it and I was just like, bro, this is crazy. Like, but like I said, it's just kind of at this point, you know, he's a prolific scorer and that's just kind of what he does. I didn't. I was just just watching. I was just in the corner watching. Because you and Dame both had the same kind of surgeries. Is it when you see him looking like he looks now, and how you feel now? Does that kind of uh, energize you to know that you can get everything back, get back to exactly where you were physically before everything? Um, I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm like back now. I, I feel way better now than I did um, to start the season. Um, you know that the hip injury kind of gave me time to kind of, um, you know, rest and, you know, give me more time to rehab my body, get stronger, get feeling better. So when I came back, you know, I felt a lot better. So, um, yeah, like, and, you know, Dame's not the first person I've ever seen bounce back from injuries. So I wouldn't say I necessarily get, <clears throat> you know, my motivation from, from that specifically, but it definitely contributes, you know, to, you know, to my confidence that you can get through any type of adversity. Tonight, you did look like Chauncey had you and Jeremy up top a lot in your zone mm. defense. Was that a, just happened to come off, <laughs> off of makes, or was that a little bit of a tactical change of putting Dame and Ant in the corners and having you guys up top kind of leading mm. that? Uh, no, I actually called it. Um, we were on the bench, <clears throat> and uh, our, de our defensive coach, uh, Roy, was, he said he wanted to do one coverage, and I was just like, nah, me and JG up top, we're going to pick up, and we're going to get into our 2-2-1 uh, our two -two -one press back into our zone. And I think... When I did that, we kind of went on the run. That's when we went up 15 right there. So um, it was just, I just felt like it was the right move at that time. Chauncey, Josh is hurt. This will be an opportunity for you. Uh, how do you feel right now heading into this potential offense? Uh, I feel the same. I prepare the same way. Um, you guys have been watching. Like, I, with whatever I'm given, I think I just try to do what I can. So, like, whether I'm playing 10 minutes or I'm playing 30 minutes, you're going to get the same this year. So that's something that, you know, my team can rely on. And um, so regardless whether I'm starting or coming off the bench, is you're going to get the same me.